I started working at this facility in 1983 for West Vaco. Uh, that's who the previous owners were. And I worked for them for 18 years. And in 2001, uh, Mead and West Vaco merged and they decided there was too much paper capacity and this mill was the fatality that they decided to close the mill. So all, back then we had about 260 employees, 260 employees lost their jobs and the mill was closed. So basically the way the company was started, there were 10 of us, that's why Team 10 is the ownership group. Um, we, we started out with basically there were seven of us that were past mill employees that had expertises in areas um, and we were brought together uh, and offered ownership to reopen the mill because we had expertise in different areas. We had people that were paper machine guys and furnished prep guys and, and finishing people. By mid-November we did that and we started making paper and a good day is when our salesman, a guy named Tony Laverti, would run down through the paper mill and say, I sold two more trucks and we would know to make two more trucks of paper to sell because that was, we were startup, you know, nobody knew us. Uh, they wrote an article about us when we bought the place in Pulp and Paper Magazine and said that we were must be crazy to buy a paper mill. And here we are, we're going to celebrate 20 years in September. So we started out with about 170, 175 and we grew to about 230 and then through COVID and everything we're in, like right now we're at about 190 plus and we're trying to hire more to, to get back up to you know probably in the 200s lower 200s but uh, the big thing was to get all these people back working to family sustaining paying jobs and that's what we did and uh, we got a grant from the state to do that and one of the criterion was we needed to create those 170 uh, family sustaining jobs and we were one of the they gave a bunch of grants that year and there were only two companies that meant that and we were one of them so that was a big thing one of the issues since COVID has been to hire people um, we've brought in two new HR professionals to help us do that, and they've been fantastic. But it's still very hard, and I don't know why, to get people that want to work. So we've done numerous things. We've used a um, contract employment service to bring some people in. We've hired people on our own. But we think that there are a lot of students that go to high school that really don't want to, nor should they go to college. So I think that we've become a viable outlet for kids that don't want to go to college because obviously in this day and age not everyone wants to go to college and this gives them a place where they can come and get a good paying job and build a career here. So you can start out at the beginning of one of the entry level positions and we have people now that have been here 20 years that are machine operators and that's the highest paying jobs in the mill. So I think it's a great opportunity for a high school student to come and be able to make a, you know, who would think coming out of high school you could make $40,000 a year. So I think that's a big, big thing. We've also worked really hard in the last six months to become a more family oriented business and be more family oriented to our employees and try to be a, a happy place to work and, and want people to come to work every day. Uh, we've really made it a nice place to come and work. It's hard work, it's hard work. It's not gonna be, you're gonna be sitting around, you know, not working hard, but you know, it's hard work, but it's very rewarding too. Um, I started out making uh, $1.10 an hour, so to be able to start out at 1919, that's a, that's a great thing.